Uh, yeah, so welcome to another uh, Guild War. Let's take a look at what's, uh, where am I? Starting out a little further out today for some reason. Uh, Epic Dove here, 15 tokens to 15 tokens. So at even tokens, we're beating them by about 2,000. So I think, um, I think we should be fine to some degree. Okay, so uh, what they're telling us is we want to attack the middle one. So we'll do that and then move over here and try to wipe out or help wipe out whatever's going on over here. Let's go see what kind of towers we're looking at over here. Maybe hit this tower. I don't know, maybe knock out this tower here in the middle. Um, but yeah, so we really want to help take down what's going on over here. So let's hit you. Ugh. This is like um, a main fort level uh, defense here. Let's see what they had here before. This guy and this guy's, yeah, looks pretty hard. Uh, let's go see what's over here. So I'm tempted to just take, try and attack this first and then move on to the, uh, to these as well. Let's go see what's on, what's going on over here. So this one's pretty easy and this bottom one here is pretty easy too. So I'll probably just take those two out afterwards. What was I looking for here? I don't know what I'm clicking on that for. Let's go see what's on, going on over here. Okay, so this is gone. Uh, maybe we can attack the, the fort here, but I don't really... Hmm. Yeah, this, this team actually looks pretty easy. Maybe I should attack this. I don't know if I don't know how skull uh school score wise uh this stuff ends up being. Yeah, like cuz right, you want to kind of like maximize your score to make sure you guys get the most points and I don't know if um hitting the mid tower is worth it cuz you get a lot of points from knocking over the mid tower. But I don't think we have enough attacks to beat the mid tower to like knock it over. So I don't know if it's worth uh, hitting it. It might just be hitting it for like ego's sake. Um, yeah. So before we go in, I guess let's go see what's going on with us. Um, let's see. So we've already lost. So we just lost two in a row. Yeah, these were from uh, Monday. So it's today's Wednesday. So we just lost both of these, which kind of sucks. Um, but yeah, these are this is a slightly higher guild. Let's go see what we're looking at what we're fighting against here uh, We're in 67 so uh, we'll be top 50 if we beat this one, which I think we will Like I said, uh, we Want to take a look at what we're doing here. We want to be very careful about our attacks um, I don't know who's left in our team, but maybe hitting this tower would be pretty good. That bottom team is like a lot of damage. Yeah, that's a lot of damage down there. Um, I don't actually know what to do down there. Maybe like a... Um, Where's Alencia? Maybe like Alencia, Crow, like just brawl. It does seem kind of difficult to to help sustain that. I don't know what tank I could, or what healer I can run that'll give me that much sustain. Um, probably just her, I think. Or maybe Alencia with double healer. I don't know. There's there's a there's a number of things we could do here. Um, this is this bottom team right here though. It's it's fun. Funnily enough, is is um, I think a good example of when like ML Crow could be used. It's like he's a main damage dealer with two healers, and they don't have any healing, so you just gotta you know slowly just keep chipping away at them with S threes, and then they'll die eventually. Um, so you know, for those of you who maybe like you know are ha having a hard might have a hard time with teams like this. Uh, I'd recommend uh, considering Crowl, uh, ML, you know, pulling ML Crowl, which I will. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see what we can do with this team up here. Uh, the top team might be just like a simple. Uh, where is CC? Here she is. 
maybe this will be uh, interesting to do. Um, where is SSB? Actually, maybe I could just run the, uh, yeah, I could probably just run the, what's her name? Oh, I just took her off. Uh, let's go back to her. Maybe I could just run her, uh, and do something similar. Hmm. Yeah, I guess, I mean, let's take a look and see what, um, what happens here. Hopefully I have enough tankiness to go around. Um, thinking about it now, maybe CC could be better off down here. Um, let's just hit him, see how it goes. I'm actually, like, I think we have maintenance at 8. So I'm actually kind of uh, hitting pretty late right now, so I am not as chill as my <laughs> as my voice might lead you to believe. So let's kind of see what's going on here. So we got the attack buff, so that's good. Uh, we can't hit anybody because they all got um, what's it called? This to me, I feel, is also another candidate for um, what's what's it called? Right, um, ML Crow. Gra like, granted, like ML Crow, but you kind of need something else to go with her, to go with him. Uh, just because, like, she can heal, but it's one at a time, and ML Crow can like vastly outspeed her depending on how you're building. I mean, look at her; she's already down 10k damage uh, from this. So I don't know. I think that might. I think. Oh, and she already healed. She healed herself, so that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's something I thought that I think might be kind of interesting. Oh, I forgot she could get. Ah, she she did get stunned. That's fine. Um, that's pretty good. I, I would have liked it to, for her not to get stunned because then she could S1 at this point and then prevent this uh, defense break, but it's not that big a deal. Let's hit you. Oh, cool. Well, she's dead. There we go. Um, let's not hit him because we've got defense break. So she's going to heal what's his name up here, which is fine. Now we can get rid of this defense break and we should be solid going forward. Um, yeah. Funnily enough, I it's kind of interesting that uh, ML Ken's S or well, you know, his S two proc for the counter um, crits reg crits through crit resistance. It's not that I don't think it should or anything like that. It's just I, I found it interesting. It was uh, an oddity to me, to say the least, that uh, you couldn't resist it with the crit, but with the crit debuff. Uh, and this Ruel is actually kind of um, uh, kind of not very tanky. Uh, this should kill, I think. Okay. Yep. Cool. Uh, so I'm actually really happy with my S10A these days. Uh, she's max molded on her S1 and S2. The S3 could use some, but uh, I think I'll hold off on that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I just I really like the position she's in. Uh, so let's. Doesn't really matter. So let's just do this. Hopefully, the fact that that uh, this guy here has um, <laughs> an immunity set means he's. Uh, He's less damage dealy, but I, I kind of doubt that's true. Uh, we're gonna need every single heal for this, so let's uh, let's save them. I was because what I usually like to do is give somebody the immunity turn one in case something happens. But I mean, you know, it should be fine. Okay, so yeah, I think we're, we'll be tanky enough. And he went for Crow, which is uh, perfect because now I get to uh, Crow S three him. Uh, I mean, sooner rather than later is is the point there. Not exactly going to S three him now because I have the blind. Well, I mean, maybe it's not that big a deal. Um, but you know, you really kind of just want to make sure you you. <sighs> Let's see if I can just kill him outright here. I mean, I have the, the, the what I decided now. What I'm thinking now is like I have the blind, so if I'm gonna miss, I'm gonna miss anyway. Um, so there you go. We did pretty decent damage. Uh, 
Uh, so she'll lose the, the defense buffs. I think I'm just going to drop this right now. Hopefully, okay, I was going to say, hopefully we don't kill the, um, the Arby there. Okay, so then, not, not only that, but we also get maximum heals off of this, because they all have a debuff. And, we still have the defense buff. And, um, yeah, I mean, you know, that's just everything, that's about it. Uh, now I get to, let's see, let's kill, let's proc your thing here. Uh, and then I'm going to S2 or S3 heal you because she's taking a bunch of damage. Um, yeah, and then we get to uh, hit you. Hopefully he dies. Okay, come on. Hopefully one of these hits him. Nope. And he's going to hit someone. Hit Crow again, <laughs> funnily enough. It's kind of funny. Uh, so we kind of won this on RNG, but I think uh, the, the concept is still similar. Um, like the way it's supposed to work and we're getting lucky with these crow s2s not not hitting um, not really hitting anybody because the, the the weakest link here is going to be your a momo like if you decide to run something like this and then he died yep. it's going to be the a momo oh actually this is kind of interesting because uh, he could actually do some de uh, some decent damage here should I kill the Vildred? No, I'm gonna wait and get another heal off of what's her name, and we got that. Okay, so that's cool. Um, I'm gonna wait for the heal off of Momo before we go in and start actually just trying to kill this uh, RB. Oh, <laughs> well, that didn't work out very well. Oh, and there you go. So we got the lucky. So uh, in theory, this is kind of how you want to deal with this, but of course, we got a whole lot of luck on our side here. So you know, just keep that in mind for. Uh, going forward, I guess. Uh, so hopefully no one dies. Okay, there you go. Cool. So thanks to his running the Dream Blade, uh, we get to survive long enough for Momo to get a heal off, and we can max heal everybody. Um, and then that villager is just gonna die because villagers are never really doing. Um, they never survive very long. Okay, and we'll do this. And he got the sleep again. <laughs> very cool. <laughs> That's so dumb. Uh, so 5k off an S1 is pretty good. Um, I just like I'm always every time I'm, I'm I bring Alincia into everything, I always need to like pay attention to what kind of da what kind of number she's doing. Of course, she, it's 5k against uh, you know an Arbiter Vildred who uh, never is very tanky. And you can build a lot of health on him and make a counter set version for some reason, but it's never gonna be like he's always just gonna die like this. 5k off of an S1 and then the follow-up with the defense break. It's uh, it's no joke. Um, but yeah, so that's that's kind of that that might be one way to, to do that. I might have to think about running this uh, against other people, see how it see how it turns out. But um, yeah, so we hit this tower. Let's focus on like the thing says. Let's kill you actually. Let's kind of find out what we can do against this team here. Hmm. Maybe not. This team looks kind of annoying. Where is... I've been thinking, like, I think she, she's a very good counter against him. Because you could just, like, strip him and then hit him with something and he'll die. Like, just, you know, sneeze on him and he'll die. But um, she's not built well enough yet. I really do need more speed in, on her. Um, this bottom team here looks kind of interesting, too. It looks like it uh, might not be as easy to, to deal with. Hmm. I'm kind of thinking about this team up here. Maybe running um, F. Clary here. 
and then running that. How's that sound? That doesn't sound too bad to me. Um, I like this. <laughs> let's try out. Um, <laughs> let's try out a uh, researcher carrot again. Why not? Actually, we should probably go with this. This might be safer. So she is gonna hit her. He is gonna hit, or she is gonna hit her, and then he's gonna hit her. Uh, he's got S1 cleaves, sure, but um, that's yeah, that's actually gonna be a problem. Hopefully, he doesn't just kill us outright. Um, so yeah, I mean that's gonna be the biggest issue. I think I'm just gonna go with her, honestly. Um, let's go see how this t <laughs> turns out. I can't believe I'm using carrot again. Um, carrot just looks like an interesting option. I mean, let's, let's see how this goes. Okay, so we kind of knew this was going to happen. If, as long as no, as long as she doesn't die from this, we're good. Which she didn't, so that's cool. Um, so let's try to, um, and of course my, uh, what's her name, Outsped, which is pretty irritating. Um, let's find out what happens here. See if we can stun her. Nope. Uh, funnily enough, that was actually kind of interesting. Um, so I need her to S2 herself. Uh, and there you go. So my... Clurry, it's my Clurry's turn now, so I'm gonna do this. See if I can get uh, this off of her, off of him. Okay, well we stripped him. Uh, it turned out kind of useless though, because I, I I'm an idiot and I realized I forgot it was like his turn right after. So <laughs> that's how that went. Um, so I think this is all uh, this is all a poor decision on my part. Um, you know, regardless, like everything here was just not the way it should have. I should I should have done this. So let's see what happens if I do this. Okay. Let's hit you. Uh, unfortunately, this is actually an interesting team because... Ooh. Wow, I can't believe she survived that. Oh, but she's dead now, so that's fine. Fortunately, we're not able to proc the... Um... Okay, well, you know, there goes him. Okay, so I think what's cool now is that she's going to S3 Ken, which means that I can S3, um, you know, this guy, um, Riolu here, with the Crow uh, a little easier and be a little uh, better off about it. But I'm going to wait a little bit. Hopefully I can get this, not have to worry about this, um, this debuff here. Let's try to just kill it. Well, we're not going to kill her, obviously, but let's just do more damage to her. Okay. Now I just need to be careful. Hopefully he doesn't die to this. <sighs> okay, so that's 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 cutting it kind of close for my taste. Um, but now, basically, I should be able to S3 him. Hopefully he dies. Um, even with the blind, we should be able to kill him, I think. Very nice. Okay. Perfect. Uh, so that's two deaths now, which is pretty uh, great, because uh, yeah, because obviously my um, S10A gets to build stacks here, stacks on stacks, as some might say. Kiss my feet. I I find that funny that that's like her line for some reason. It's very strange to me. Uh, and there we go. So this turned out perfectly. Um, thanks to uh, Let's see. Hopefully he does. Oh, don't, don't kill him. Don't kill him. Okay, cool. And then we can just soul burn and we're good. There you go. So we win. Uh, that actually turned out better than I had hoped. Um, we got lucky on the dual attacks from the S10A not hitting. Because if one... Because you saw there his meter was full when I S3 to him. If one S10A... Um, S1 went astray and hit him, he would have S3'd sooner, which might have been, which might have costed us, right, um, in the long run, so, very interesting uh, in general. Um, let's put the defense buff up, and strip, it's actually pretty cool that she strips because, and we've got a counter Alencia, 
That is a one I've not seen yet. Funnily enough, uh, I think most people wanted to run her on counter, right? Uh, before they changed her. Uh, let's get rid of this on you here. Uh, before they changed her, everybody was, and that's kind of why we lost. Uh... Oh, actually, this is kind of sad. We're, we're going to lose um, the defense buff on everybody. That's fine, though. Um, it's kind of sucks a little bit because the person who those burns would have been best to land on would have been the Alencia, but unfortunately, um, that just wasn't meant to be. He's gonna get burned here. He should anyway. Wow, that. Uh, so she has a built-in. Um, let's go hit. I think we're just gonna lose this, honestly. Yep. So I mean, nothing's really going our way now. Um. And she's gonna hit her, yeah, so she's dead. Yeah, it's over. I mean, maybe, but uh, I don't know if I'd want to subject all of you as well as myself to all this. Um, but the, the thing that was kind of annoying me there was the fact that I actually wasn't paying attention, so I, I, I probably should have paid attention to it, but um, uh, resisted and countered. Uh, so this is what a uh, gear differential looks like to be able to get the stats that he has to like be as good as my Alencia and that S1 just basically demolished my uh, researcher carrot with the with the um, the thing that was kind of made me salty there with the carrot was carrot when she's at max HP which she was when she took that S1 because I'd healed her uh, and then she got the healing from her uh, S3 because she's on lifesteal. Um, she gets 25% damage reduction on the attack on an attack when she's at max HP um, But that didn't like it didn't factor in whatsoever like she basically got one shot by uh, his s1 um, Which got me kind of salty. So I mean that, that's kind of what that is like Kron doing that much damage was too high for me And then the fact that he's got an Alencia that's this fast uh, on counter set is and you know with that much resistance and that much effectiveness it's like, you know, I just kind of got out geared, which that kind of sucks, but you know, it is what it is. Let's just get out of here before uh, <laughs> I end up losing uh, Momo. Um, and for those of you out there who who want to be more successful, obviously more like, for those of you who value um, victory more than more than anything else, you what's 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 interesting about all this is you can basically just focus on bringing a team that will like survive the the 50 rounds or the 100 rounds or whatever I forgot how many rounds you have to go uh, for one side and draw and then like just like straight up draw because I got a draw there because I won the first one I lost the second one but if you win one and then you draw a second one or you draw the first one and then you win the second one um, it still counts as a victory overall. So if you really want to min-max yourself that much, uh, you know, just kind of like, okay, I know I can beat this team, this team down here, let's do this. Uh, that's kind of the way you want to look at it. Um, this team down here looks pretty irritating. Uh, I need to build my Ruana. If I had Ruana, I think this would be pretty nice to fight against, but uh, I don't. I guess we'll be relegated to um, knocking over this tower. Um, let's go with you. And you, there we go, that's perfect. Uh, hopefully I don't get too much damage onto her. Hopefully she can heal herself and, and stay healthy from, you know. This actually this doesn't seem like a very good idea, but let, let's just go with it. Um, looks like it'll be kind of funny. Um, yeah, I don't think I have enough damage reduction to deal with all this, but uh, let's just try it anyway. Um, up here, I like what's going on up here. Let's do who else? Did my did she die? What happened to her? Where is she? Water? No, she's here. That's very that's weird. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's just try this. I guess this looks pretty fun. Okay, so this is a fast Charles. So what kind of damage we're looking at here? 
that's not too bad. It's not really nothing. That's not really anything to to care about too much. But okay, and we didn't get the counter attack, so that's a good sign. Uh, this is going to heal S10A, which is good, of course. Um, so we're getting this. Of course, we're gonna get pushed back because no one has. Uh, well, S10 doesn't have resistance. I don't know about the other two. Well, yeah, they're not gonna. They didn't fare very well. Um, so I think I'm going to focus down this Charles first. So let's S3 him because if I S3 anyone else, he has a chance to trigger Elbrus. Uh, of course, he might be on counter, which I kind of doubt considering how fast he is. There you go. So, uh, hopefully this heals S10A, which I don't think it will actually. Yeah, it healed the um. It healed him. I actually should have saved that, I guess, until that happened. But let's get you out. Uh, so let's do this. See how much damage we're looking at here. Oh, that's not bad. Not very good, but uh, that's not bad. Uh, yeah, I don't think he's on counter, so let's just keep hitting him. Oh, this is great. Mm -hmm. Of course. Okay, does he get the strip? Yeah, he does. Okay, so this is going to be pretty bad. Oh, actually, this is not bad. Okay, cool. Um, uh, Hopefully he gets his S3 off. This is going to suck if he doesn't. Uh, Let's hit you one last time. Hopefully he just dies off of this. Ah, uh, that's annoying as hell because now he gets to do this again. Of course. Okay, so that was kind of the suck. He is on holy sacrifice. Holy shiznits. That I did not see coming. Um, that's kind of funny. We may actually lose this. I'm not entirely sure. I just did this right now just because I really need to kill him. And we can go forward there. Uh, so hopefully my uh, DN resists, of course. Um, she did not. And she got crit through crit resist, so thanks for that. Okay, let's get the barrier up on you. Please miss. Nope. Don't even get the the miss on that. Let's hit you, because this is going to be really... Fortunately, she got all, all her, her S2 and her S3 off, so now she can... Um, proceed to uh, just S1 like she was already gonna S1 anyway right so fortunately you know uh, I got that so that's cool Ugh, this is irritating um, so hopefully we can kill you she's dead yes okay so basically we won already um, that's nice uh, let's put this back up again who's this gonna heal probably it should heal her yeah okay Okay, so everything turned out all right here. 8,000 damage, that's not bad. Ooh, that's, that's some serious, uh, not what I want happening. Okay. I might have to burn the S3 on him. Because I don't think he'll be able to survive what's coming. I really don't. No, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna get um, take the L here. If uh, well, he got the increased attack buff for three turns. Ugh. Of course, it only landed on one person. Um, I guess thanks for that. Okay, so fortunately I got all my debuffs on everybody. Uh, if Zerato dies, I guess it's not that big a deal. Um, okay, so we got this. So come on, please kill the everybody, I guess. Um, so everybody just died. So I guess I just got that. That was um, the luck that I had lost on other... On uh, <laughs> some other matches. Um, so that was pretty nice. Uh, I got the luck back that she didn't land her debuffs on Zerato when I needed her when I needed that to happen uh, Of course the uh, The uh, revive so hopefully we can kill her before uh, she gets that revive off because it's gonna be pretty bad if, if I don't 
Okay, so then sleep. Oh, she's got the whatever. That's fine. She's actually healing more than we can damage her, which is pretty annoying. Come on, defense break. Okay. Okay, so this is our this is our, our chance to kill her. If we don't kill her here, I think we're we're gonna have to fight against everybody. Okay. That wasn't not too bad. Uh, so there you go. Um, I like seeing so many uh, Tempest Surins these days, T Surins. Because uh, then you could just bring, you know, your uh, Zerato and have him counter, like, constantly. Because she has threes and then he counters it back. And then for the rest of the game, for the rest of the match or whatever, she S1s Zerato. And then, you know, she has bleed on her S1. So he just keeps throwing it back to her. Uh, so it's really good. Unfortunately, it's not so fun to fight on arena defenses because she's usually paired with like a Rowana, um, which is which is usually you know what you want on her, uh, what you want her with, so you can avoid getting SSB'd like she did there. Um, but it's really hard to give up that um, that what's it called? Alternatively, I mean that team isn't so good. If I if I had a uh, I mean I do have Basar he's he's five star though um, but like I said if, if if you had a Basar I mean it's no big deal you know it's easy just uh you know Basar burn into Basar um, you got the unbuffable on the Kron so he can't there's no chance of Alexa's you got the unbuffable on T Surin so he can't sure she can't get the what's it called um, and the greater attack buff uh, and then you know the revive off of the Maid Chloe is basically worthless because um, she can't get it so. Uh, yeah, that's kind of how you want to deal with that. So you probably want to like soul burn into Basar into like a Tenebria and then bring someone else after that, like a you know, or not even that. Maybe just like bring, uh, like like I said, bring, um, him, bring uh Basar, maybe like a Tenebria, then like a uh, uh Arbiter Vildred or something. Um, but yeah. So there's, there's there's plenty of possibilities. Um, what people don't realize is that like T Surin. Like, people put her on a team, and she's good against teams that aren't built to sweep you, right? If someone's cleaving, they're going to kill you because the cleaver, which is going to be, uh, what's her name? Like, Jay Kise, or, you know, Jay Kise is a better option than uh, the Arbiter Vildred. But, like, anyway, like, if you're bringing, let's say that, like I said, if you're bringing Basar, Basar and, and the S Spectre Tenebria or who el whoever else you're using for the defense break is probably going to bring the t Surin down to, like, uh, the threshold of her ability and then the second person is just going to come in and sweep her and that's that right like yeah so you know because that's the you know that's just something that i think is important for a lot of people to understand is that she's not really going to help deter cleaves if you're going to get cleaved she's going to not do very much because there's a lot of people that go before the cleaver and even then like um like i said jake he say hits twice the s2 into the s3 so I mean, what are you stopping, right? So it's just something to consider uh, if you want to build her. You'll you'll be stopping people who just fight against your team normally, just like oh, I'm bringing a team into your team. Uh, but you're never gonna stop cleavers. Like it's not, you know, T Surin's not a good option. Um, but yeah, like like I said, not everybody has a cleaver. Uh, I don't have a cleave team just because I don't give enough of a crap. Um, but yeah, like take uh, like I mean, BBK is a decent option. You just hit her with the BBK. Obviously, she's not gonna die from the one shot. Uh, and then you have an S1 left, so you just hit it with the S1, and you're basically solid. Um, but yeah, like I said, don't don't have a cleaver, so I don't really, you know, not much I can do about that. Um, I do have a BBK personally. I don't have GK say, JK say, but I do have BBK, so I might have to. I might think about uh, running that. Um, but I really do like the uh, like the Basar makes that team I just fought easier, right? Because the Basar uh, gets the unbuffable, which means that. Uh, you know the two assassins running the uh, the uh, the two assassins running the Alexa's basket don't get their procs. Kron doesn't get his immortality, and the Maid Chloe like this is the reason why you don't see Maid Chloe's on defense ever, and you really shouldn't be running her on defense, uh, specifically because um, specifically because Basar is a thing. Like, yeah, it's strange to see uh, in today's game someone running a uh, Maid Chloe. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Thankfully, there's a lot of Basars out there um, deterring people so that I don't have to use Basar um, most often. Uh, but, yeah, that's that. Uh, you know, good luck on uh, your guys' Guild Wars and uh, try not to scrub out.